What's going on guys? It is Saturday afternoon, um, 11.57 right now. Had my first meal about an hour ago. Had a protein shake, two and a half scoops of my protein, um, glutamine, and uh, had all my micronutrients like my multivitamin mineral, vitamin C, vitamin D, uh, glucosamine sulfate, all that good stuff all the essentials, so, um, and I'm about to have my first, uh, like, real solid meal, I'm about to have breakfast right now, same as usual, I'll show you the steps on how I make it, and this video is going to be different, this is going to be a food prep video, I'm going to show you how I go about cooking all my food, um, how I season it, how I make it last so long, how I preserve it in the fridge, and the freezer, so that way it lasts me a week to two weeks, and so sometimes I cook stuff for two weeks worth, and usually things go bad in that time, but you know I, I I have my ways of keeping it fresh and keeping it lasting um, lasting that long. So we're gonna go all over all of that, guys. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me questions. You know, Alex, what's your what's your macros like? What's your calories? I'm gonna answer those questions too in this video. We'll discuss that after I've cooked everything and prepped everything and showed you how to do all that. We'll go over my macros, my calories, and we'll touch base a little bit on like what it is you have to do to lose weight, like your your basics. I'm not gonna go into like extreme detail, just touch the subject as far as, you know, calories in, calories out, um, what to do to manipulate your calories, different ways of dieting, um, and I'll show you what works for me, what I like to do, what is, in my opinion, the most optimal way of doing it, but it doesn't mean it's the only way of doing it, and it doesn't work for everybody, so we'll go over those different steps. So anyways, guys, let's get right into it, I'm going to cook breakfast, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm cutting up my sausages right now, um, typical breakfast for me here, guys, um, I got uh, two Bar S smoked sausages, and um, that lasts me about a week, that's a week's worth, so two every day, and I'm going to cut those up real quick. Got some of this coconut cooking spray, spray it out in the pan. Got some cream of wheat. It's uh, basically like shredded up oatmeal. Put some water in this. Yeah, you buddy. <sighs> Let me tell you guys, if you guys never had cream of rice, try it. It'll change your life. Alright. Put it in there for two minutes. The sausages are almost done cooking up here. We're gonna finish that up. And I'm gonna do something different today, guys. So I do this usually on my days off just to help me get carbs in quicker. And so that way I don't have to stress about eating so much. Because when I'm not when I'm not working out, um, I'm actually really sweaty, guys. It's really hot in this house. It must be like 85 degrees, which some of you are probably like, that's not hot. I'm from California. That's hot, <laughs> okay? So, um, anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I'm probably going to put some rice in my breakfast just because um, since I'm not working out and I slept in and it's later on in the day, it just helps eating food um, go by a little bit more easier. You know what I mean? I don't have to, don't have to stress about having a bunch of food um, and just cramming it in within those hours. And having that with the breakfast tastes really bomb anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Just came out the microwave. It is looking creamy. Oh, yeah. I like it nice and creamy and juicy and, and soft. So I'll just give that a little mix up. There's a little bit of water left in there, which is fine. It'll, it'll soak it up. All right, guys, putting some uh, multi-flower honey. Can you see that? By Zero Good. You know, representing that German, that German brand right there. Um, it's basically crystallized honey. So, instead of it being syrupy, it's crystallized. The honey is uh, melting in the cream of rice. I got the tablespoon of peanut butter. Put that in there too, let it melt. Still pretty hot, so it should be able to melt in there. Yeah, it'll come off easy. Here we go. Just mix it in there. See, it just kind of melts off the spoon. 
and uh, just give it a good mix. Put it all mixed together. All right, so we got two cups of rice in there, guys, with the sausages, and I'm just cooking it up in there. Obviously, the rice is already cooked, but I'm kind of browning it. All right, let's check up on this rice real quick. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, it's smelling good too. Ooh, oh, oh. Let's see. Oh, uh, that's exactly what I want. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Let me. I don't know if you can see that kind of the, how it's kind of. It's starting to like see how it's getting brown right there. It's starting to crisp, kind of like hash browns, you know. When you have hash browns, it starts to crisp and get all crunchy, and it's bomb. So that's basically what I'm doing with the rice, and uh, I'm gonna make it crunchy, kind of give it a a nice little texture, and then I'll put the eggs in it and stuff. And uh, try it out, guys. You'll like it. You'll like putting rice in your with your eggs and stuff. And it's similar, to, I guess, to a fried rice, just not as unhealthy. You're not putting a bunch of oil in it. And it tastes good. And uh, it's one way to get your carbs in, you know what I mean? Um, on my days off, when I'm sleeping in late and I have less hours in the day, technically because I'm just sleeping in for like 10 hours sometimes, 8, 10 hours, instead of waking up at 4 a.m., um, it just this helps me get my carbs in. And it's just a, it's a, it's a tasty way to get carbs inside your, uh, inside your breakfast. And um, you don't have to be traditional with your rice. You don't have to have it just with your chicken or with your ground beef, you know what I mean? You could, you could put it in your breakfast, so try it out, guys. If the rice, when you take it out of the fridge and it's a little bit dry, when you put it in the pan, just get some water and, and just sprinkle a little bit of water on top. Uh, basically, I'll just take a little bit of water um, with my fingers and my hand, obviously they're clean, and I'll, I'll put my finger in the, in the water bowl or the, the cup, and then I'll just like kind of sprinkle it with my fingers like that, and I'll do that like several times just to put a little bit of moisture in the rice and get it more, get it fluffy and, and moist again. So if it's dry, do that. All right, just smash those yolks. Mix that with the eggs. With the rice, I mean. Looks good. Little, little fry rye. You like fry rye? Um, I didn't show you the seasonings because I already had so much seasonings in the rice. It pretty much took care of the eggs and the sausage. There was already a bunch of garlic in there, some turmeric, some some um, rosemary, so that pretty much took care of my uh, seasonings. I'm gonna put some uh, ginger in it real quick. Um, some of this, this is really good. I'll show ya. Put a tablespoon of that, mix that in there. Uh, probably put a tablespoon or two tablespoons of soy sauce. So I'll set that on the table. And my oatmeal. Where's that bowl? All right, cool. All right, guys, breakfast is made. I've already been snacking on this a little bit. Uh, breakfast is done. There it is, two cups of rice, four whole eggs, sausage, two sausage links. Um, there's my two servings of uh, cream of rice, tablespoon of peanut butter, and tablespoon of honey. And I am going to devour this right now. Um, I'm sweating. It's hot in that kitchen. It's hot in this house. The AC isn't on. So... Maybe I'll burn more calories. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this real quick, guys. And uh, um, after this, I'm going to get dressed, um, go to the grocery store, pick up some food, and then we'll be back, and I'll show you how to cook uh, the rest of uh, rest of my meals for the week. I'll see you guys in a bit. Dude, why are you eating Twinkies, Zach? Because I want to. I thought you were trying to make gains, not fat gains. This is a protein Twinkie. Yeah, right. Look at him eat that Twinkie. Look at him eat that Twinkie. It's not getting out of the wrapper. Real blood. Some fried chicken? Fried chicken. Yeah. It's not What's up guys? Just got back from the grocery Hi. store. And uh <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Shut your mouth, dude! I'm just, I just got back from the grocery store. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, it's hot in this house right now, but that's okay. It's about to get hotter in here once I start cooking, trust me. Um so let me show you what I got here. We got ten ounce uh ten pounds of uh chicken breast, boneless, has a little bit of fat on there, but that's okay. We can skim some of that off. We got four packages. They're about a pound and a half each of uh, gizzard. I wanted some chicken heart, but they, they had, they just got their chicken heart shipment today and it was 40 pounds, but it was completely frozen. So I couldn't get any of that today. They said they were thought out and uh, they're gonna have it tomorrow, they said. 
So I'll probably stop by over there and try to pick up a few packages over there. Um, so I got four packages of gizzard. It's gonna last me for the next few days. I probably want to be eat all of them. I might even return one and, and or return a couple and get the chicken hearts instead. I wasn't really feeling the gizzard, but I got what I got. So um, got some fresh turmeric root. That is gonna be used for the rice. This will take your rice to a whole nother level. You could put turmeric spice in it, but turmeric root, fresh, when you grate it, it doesn't, I, I can't explain how good it is, okay? We got some uh, beef liver, nice and bloody right there, for the vegans out there. <laughs> and then we got some, uh, we got some beets, we'll make something with that. Got some asparagus, we got just one bunch of that. We got red cabbage, this humongous bag of spinach, and I got two bunches of bananas. So that's my grocery list for today. I've already got rice and beans in the pantry. I'm gonna start cooking that up and uh, let's get right into it. All right guys, got some coconut spray. I'm gonna spray that on this uh, tin pan. It's gonna help just make the chicken not stick as much as it's cooking. That's the last of this. I think it's pretty much done. Like we have another one in the pantry. Come on, dude. There we go, a little bit. As you see, I graffiti tag a lot, so there's not much left. Okay, so that is that. Let's break open this big fat bag of chicken breast here. You want some chicken? Now, what I like to do to my chicken breast before I cook it, is I like to beat it up, you know what I'm saying? You gotta beat it up. So I like that. What's up, what's up, fool? Been talking shit. I like to beat it up, softens up the chicken breast, gets it nice and tender. Um, that's pretty much all the beating I need to do. And then uh, I'm gonna throw it in here. Come on, Zach, bring it in, bring it in. Show these people what's up. Like big old, like a big old chicken breast right here. Nice and slimy and, and raw, you know, for the vegans out there. This is vegan meat, guys. This is not real meat, vegan. Okay, um, so that's that's that. Now, somebody help me with this. Hey, come here, come here. Pour some of that soap on my hand because my hands are contaminated. That's a lot of soap, dude. I'm sorry, it's too flaming. We're in a depression. We're in a crisis. We can't waste that much. So, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty conscious about germs and bacteria. So, as you can see, I had him pour the soap because what's the point? I have dirty, slimy. Salmonella infested hands, and I touch a soap and then I put it on my hands, and then now that's contaminated. So, um, gotta make sure you stay safe handling uh, raw meat like that sometimes, you know. Chicken, especially. Beef is not as bad, but chicken for sure. Um, Alright, guys, so that's done. So, what I'm gonna cook it on now, there's obviously many ways to cook this chicken breast. Um, you could cook it in the oven, um, but I could cook it on the pan, but honestly, this is the best. Show them what this is. I'm not sponsored, guys. I have no promotions for you. <laughs> it's called the New Wave Oven. It's basically the halfway breed between a microwave and an oven. It's a New Wave Oven, and it pretty it cooks it from the bottom. It, it cooks really good. Um, usually, I can put a tray on there, and it'll it'll sit in the middle and cook all the way through. But I don't know the tray's at, so I just threw it on there. Um, halfway through, I'll just flip the breast around, and this is awesome. I'll season it a little bit. We we'll get some spices. All right, guys, gonna season it up. Um, uh, we've got, what do we got? We got garlic. So I'll put a little garlic on there right here. I'll season this side and I'll season the other side when I flip it. Usually I throw it in a, in a big uh, pan, I mean a big uh, pot, and I marinate it and put some lemon in there, put some spices. And uh, honestly, I just want to get this done and over with. I did not feel like cooking today, but it has to be done. Yeah, you might not feel like cooking, but you got to get it done anyways, you know, that's the... That's the thing. Sometimes I feel like cooking, sometimes I really don't. But, and pap paprika, and we got some cumin. And that's gonna season that breast, make it nice and, nice and uh, delicious. All right, so that's all seasoned up on that side. All right, so that's on there. Now all we gotta do is I'm gonna put it on high and put it on 50 minutes. So 50 minutes, halfway through, so 25 minutes, I'll flip it around. All right, and that's my breast. I'll let that get going, and let's get on to the next, the next portion of cooking. 
So I got this big, I don't know, 40 pound bag of rice. And we're gonna cook some rice right now. This is, uh, um, I ran out of brown basmati rice. This is white basmati rice. It really doesn't make a difference for me. I like ba white basmati rice. It digests really easily. It's really fluffy. It's, uh, it's really delicious. I love white basmati rice. And I'm not being prejudiced at all just because I'm because I'm part Arab doesn't mean I'm, I'm just going for basmati here. It seriously is the, the bomb. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do, um, I measure it because with me measuring it, I know how much is going to be cooked and I know how long it's going to last me. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put one, two, three. So one cup of that dry it cooks about three cups. Uh, as one cup dry is three cups cooked. And I eat three cups a day of rice and I eat three cups of beans a day. So one cup, so I'll probably do, I have a little bit of rice left over, I'll do one, two, three, four, five. I'll do, I'll do five cups. Because I have another almost two days with the rice right there. So there's one, two, three, and actually, let's do four. Let's try four cups of rice. Let's see how, how that does. Because I cooked five last time. And, um, I still have a little bit left right there. I don't know how long that's going to last me. I think that's... I think that's about... I had two cups so far. That's probably like three cups almost. So I'll just do four cups of dry. All right, guys. So that's in there. And conveniently, this bag has a zipper. You can just zip it up and put it back in the pantry. All right, and then let's put some water in here. So with water, guys, ooh, that's already getting hot, shoot. Okay, so with water, I'll rinse the rice off a little bit just to make sure if there's any particles or anything in there, you know? Rinse it off. And then I'm gonna put, I put four cups of rice. I'm gonna double it in water, so I'll put eight cups. Um, right, uh, a little bit more, nine cups. So I put, let's see how much is that? I put, oh, that's eight cups. I put eight cups of water. So, eight cups of water in there. Um, now let's season the rice. This is what really makes the rice here, guys. Let me show you right here. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna put some curry in my rice. And uh, don't go soft on it. Put a bunch in there. I put a couple tablespoons in there. People ask me, oh, how much of this, how much of that? Honestly, I don't have to get a measuring uh, a tablespoon. I don't have to measure my stuff. You know, after so much of cooking, I kind of like, I eyeball it. I kind of know like the volume of rice I got, how much of seasonings to put in there to really have it stand out and uh, make it, you know, make a, make the flavor the way I want it to be. This is some cumin right here, guys. So I got cumin, I got, I got uh, curry, oregano, and I'm gonna put some cayenne pepper in there. Let's see. Put a couple pinches in there. And let me get some sumac. This is very popular to put in uh, Middle Eastern rice, is sumac. Some sumac. Sumac is basically grinded up, um, dried um, pomegranate. Is what that is, and some fresh turmeric root. So open that bad boy up. All right, I'm gonna probably shred about three of those. Mix that off. And shred that up. So. I use the fine side because this really gets all the properties out of the turmeric that we want in our rice. That's gonna, you know, besides obviously it being very tasty and it flavoring the rice and coloring it and making it look good, it has a lot of benefits, guys. Good for the digestion tract, good for uh, inflammation. Uh, it's a pro property in the, in the turmeric called curcumin. Not cumin, it's called curcumin. And uh, very good for you guys. They actually make supplements um, that you could take, that you just take the pill. But honestly, if you could just eat it and have it in your diet without having to take the supplement, I think is a lot better. You know what I mean? I'd rather have 
I'd rather have, if I had the choice, I'd rather have fish and salmon to get my daily, you know, fatty acids, my omega threes, than have a pill. It just, it's, it's more natural, and it's more, um, just organic. You know, it's, 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 it's the way it was made, and without it having to go through all the steps they have to do to make a pill, I feel like it's just, it, it's easily digest, digested and, and used by the body. So I got all the seasonings in there, guys. I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. Make sure it's evenly distri distributed throughout the rice. And then, smell that. Smell how strong that is. You smell it? See how strong that is? That rice is gonna, it's it's gonna taste good. So now, put it on cook. It's not even plugged in, so that would uh, make a difference. <laughs> Plug this thing in, actually. Okay, it's now plugged in and it's cooking. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook. <laughs> guys, calm down. Alright, guys, so same with the rice. I'm with the beans that I did with the rice. I'm gonna measure the cups so I know how long it's gonna last me. How many cups did I just put? I, was, I think that was four. Is that four? I think. Let's put one more. Okay, so five cups. Alright, hopefully that was five cups. If not, then oh well. Put some water in here. Now, as far as like how many cups of water, I really, I just like, I triple it. I usually triple it with the, with the beans. So I'll fill it up all the way to here, to the very top. And, because these beans will soak up a lot of water. They'll soak up a lot. Those beans will pretty much soak most of that up. And if there's a little bit of extra juice in there, I'll just drain it. That's the wrong one. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right, so the ground beef I used are actually frozen beef patties. And uh, I'll let them thaw out in the pan, heat it up, and then I'll, I'll crush it down into like a ground beef and uh, season it up and put it in my rice. So I'm gonna let that go in the pan for a little bit, heat it up, and we'll go check out it in about five minutes. All right, ground beef's almost done. I'm gonna heat up some of my leftover rice and beans, and this uh, I'm gonna eat this right now. But this is basically how I cook my beef. Um, Sometimes I won't even smash it into ground, grounded beef. Um, I'll just have it like the patties, but I season it with a typical, you know, garlic salt um, and some a little bit of curry, maybe you know, whatever I felt like eating that day. You know, I'll probably put a little bit of curry, give it some flavor, and I'll definitely put some turmeric in there because I am definitely dealing with a lot of inflammation right now in my shoulders. I can feel it from shoulder day. And so this will help me a lot. And yeah, mix that up and look, it turns orange. This, well, the oil and everything turns orange pretty much. And that's how I cook my beef, guys. That's done, I'm gonna chop the pan, let that, the heat cook up the rest of it because it's pretty much, pretty much done. Um, but that's how I cook my beef pretty much. You know, I might not put curry in there, I might just put turmeric. I might put cumin, just whatever spices I feel like having. If I want it spicy, I might put some uh, cayenne pepper, you know, some 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 hot spices. You know, maybe add some like kind of a more of a me his, you know Hispanic spice zest to my food. You know, in the rice I might put some salsa. You know, whatever I feel like uh, seasoning it with that day. Whatever you know tickles my fancy, as someone may say. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna eat that, but that's how I cook my beef. My chicken gizzard, chicken heart, I pretty much cook it the same way. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, the gizzards, actually, no, the only difference is the gizzards, I'll put water in the bowl and I'll actually boil it. Versus the chicken hearts, I won't boil it. I'll just put it in the pan and spray the pan with a nonstick spray and let it heat up with the pan. But since the gizzards, the way the gizzards are and the, and the way they cook, they cook a lot better when they're boiled and they're a lot softer. If you don't put a lot of water in there and you don't boil it, it becomes very hard and gristly. It's like gristle and it becomes very hard to chew. So if you boil it and you boil it at a medium heat and let it sit there for about 30 minutes, it'll become more more soft and, and easier to eat, so. All right guys, so my meal is done. Probably one of my, probably second to fa second favorite meal of the day is the ground beef and the rice and beans. This is really delicious, guys. Smells amazing. I'll put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there um, to help with digestion. Um, Support a good uh, acidity in the stomach. You know, make sure everything's optimal as far as digestion and utilizing all those nutrients. Um, so I'm gonna eat that real quick. All right, guys, chicken gizzard is boiling in the pot. Um, got about three pounds in there. Uh, I got the beans. Beans are almost done. We've got uh, the rice is all done. I got cooling off and stuff. Oh, it smells so good. 
Yeah, I got the thing uh, opened up. I'm going to cool it off so I can put it in a container. I got the second batch of chicken going. Uh, here's the first batch. I cut it up into smaller pieces. Just chilling in the microwave. Um, what I'm going to do when it's done cooking is I'll put it in Ziploc bags, which I'll show you, and store it in the fridge and the freezer. And... Uh, uh, that's pretty much it guys. I got those vegetables right here. I'm not gonna do th anything with them today um, Well, actually I might actually I'll, I'll prepare some stuff of it But basically this spinach I'll pretty much eat that raw I might throw that in some smoothies But for the most part I'll take it and I'll just eat it like salad cabbage as well as I'll cut it up and eat it with a with like a, a salad dressing I'll probably use apple cider vinegar and uh, Some spices this all steam and then the beets I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the beets yet. I'm either going to cook them, uh, boil them in a pot. Um, I might blend them in the blender and either drink it as a smoothie or just strain it and just drink the juice. Um, we'll see what I'm going to do. I'm actually, you know what, actually I might shred, I think I'm going to shred the beets and um, boil them and then put it in the salad. I might do that instead. And beets are really good for you. Um, I have to go over like some of the benefits of having some of these vegetables because people like they tend to go for more like oh the proteins or fats and the carbs they don't think about like the micronutrients and like the real health benefits to certain foods they just think about their macros they don't think about the micros and the essentials the stuff that keeps us living longer that keeps us living healthy and and living a very a very flourishing life so so while the gizzard is cooking i threw this rack on top of the gizzard with the hot water going put this on top and i got the the asparagus essentially steaming almost on top. So within 15 minutes, I think that they should be soft and uh, they're cooked. Talk about doing two birds with one stone right there. And uh, cutting up some cabbage right now. I'm gonna cut it up in little pieces and uh, throw it in one of the containers just to eat with the rice and everything. So I'm gonna cut that up right now. Cut those sideways now. I should have got a cutting board. This isn't very. <laughs> this is not very productive like this. Alright, guys, just got done finishing off my cabbage. Here's a big bag of cabbage right here, guys. Um, and just every day when I'm when I'm ready to eat or I pack up my food, just go in there, grab a handful, and throw it in my in my. Uh, in my container and just an easy way to get veggies in it's already cut up and ready they had a small bag of already cut up cabbage it was like a dollar fifty each I think or almost two bucks very little cabbage like and I bought the whole cabbage for like I think it was a dollar or something and that's like four of those bags so yeah um, it took me five minutes to rinse it off and cut it off but five minutes and saving four dollars I think was well worth it <laughs> so um, let's let's check on the asparagus let's go check on that I think it's uh, probably pretty soft and almost done. Yeah, it's getting there. It's maybe a little bit longer. Maybe another. Actually, what we could do here is we could flip the bottom ones on top because some of those are submerged in the water. Yeah. There we go. Let's flip those over. Yeah, so the bottom ones are actually pretty much done. So those are almost done. That, that that's what, that's kind of creative. I'm kind of proud of myself. I got the gizzard kicking on the cooking on the bottom. And I got the asparagus cooking on top. <laughs> so you know, got to improvise sometimes, especially if you want to kill time. So it's 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 been a total of let's see, I started at three. It's been an hour and like almost 15 minutes, and I'm almost done. Rice is done. The beans are done. The chicken is almost done. Gizzard's done. The asparagus is done. The veggies are cut up. And yeah, that's all it took, and I did some dishes to clean up my, uh, my containers so I could throw it all um, in some containers and get it ready and, and, and uh, put it in the fridge. It doesn't take too much, guys. Yeah, it's a little bit of effort, but you could handle a couple hours a day. It, it, essentially, it takes maybe two hours to handle all this stuff. You know, that's not included, of course, shopping and all that, but um, it's not that hard, guys. You just got to not be lazy, get up and cook. So, um, I like to cook, but um, when you're cooking all this food all at once, it could be a little boring, but I mean, you don't have to watch it the whole time. I sit down, watch TV a little bit. I'm over there in the living room with my little brothers and their friends, chilling. I'm on the phone. Like, I don't have to be here watching the food the whole time. So, I don't know if you can see on my face, I'm pretty sweaty. It's really hot in this in this, in this this kitchen. And I'm wearing this thick shirt, too, which doesn't help. So, um, anyways, guys, let me finish this up. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, I got my containers all ready. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my food packed for tomorrow. I'm going to get a 
couple cups of rice here. So this container, I'll show you. So this is almost a cup, let me see. That's a cup, right there. So there's one cup of rice. About two cups of rice. And... Three cups of rice. All right, there's a cup of beans. Do three cups of that, and that's my carbs. All right, so there's my three cups of black beans, three cups of rice. Let's put some asparagus in there. I'll grab like half of it. Throw it in there. All right, looking good. Now I just gotta put my protein in there. These guys are yelling and screaming right now. You're on it. Whoa! Whoa! The booty, dude. That's going on YouTube. What are you trying to do? What are you doing? I freaking pulled down. All right, I got 10 ounces of gizzard. Where is that? Boom. Well, 11 ounces, but that plate weighed it one ounce, so it's 10 ounces. And pour that in there. I still gotta put the beef in here too, there's a lot of... Alright guys, so we're, uh, I have my little brother Zach off of me. I'm just weighing out 10 ounces of chicken breast. And I'm gonna throw in one of these, uh, small Ziploc bags here. Alright, Zach, so open that up. So that's 10 ounces. Put that in the bag. Make sure you push all the air out. Make sure guys, when you do this, when you put the chicken in the bag, swish all the air out. Okay? That's going to help preserve the chicken a little bit more because it's, you know, sealed tight. Ready, Zach? Next bag. All right, guys, all my chicken's all cooked up. My rice, my beans, uh, my gizzard, my veggies, everything's cooked up and put away except the chicken. I'm letting it cool off just a little bit more. I got them in little Ziploc bags. That's nine meals worth, so there's nine bags of 10 ounces each. And uh, I'll throw a couple in the fridge, and then I'll throw the rest of them up here in the freezer on the top shelf. I still have a couple left right there um, from the last time I cooked, and it'll last. It'll last just as long as you need it to last. You know what I mean? Like I've I've cooked like 15 pounds before, and I've kept it in that fridge for like two weeks, two and a half weeks, and it lasted that whole time. You know, it's in the freezer. There's no bacteria able to grow. Uh, the only downside is when you keep it in the freezer for that long, it starts to dry up. So you know. It's whatever, it just makes it more convenient for me. If it's a little dry, then I just put some salsa on it or some you know, some sauce and uh, something that's low calorie that'll help it go down easier. And that's it guys. So that's how that's how I cook my food. That's how I season it. It's kind of how, how, how I've been going around about it. Um, and um, the food is, is, even though you know some of the stuff might seem foreign to you, like some of the way I cook my rice, you know, I, am, I come from a Middle, Middle Eastern background, so we use a lot of like heavy spices like cumin and curry and turmeric and stuff like that, and it really flavors the rice. And that really like, when I have my rice with my food, like it really like, it makes everything go down really nice and easy because you, you, it almost feels like you're not even eating anything that's, uh, that's necessarily diet food, you know, so to speak. So, um, um, don't be afraid to use spices, guys. Spices are your friend. It's gonna flavor your food. It's gonna make it taste good. You know, there's not really any calories in those spices that you're using. If there is, it's very minute. It's not gonna make a difference. So don't be afraid to use spices. As far as sauces, you know, if you start to get to like barbecue sauce, marinara's, that's where some of your calories come from. So be careful with that when you're doing it. But it really doesn't matter as long as it fits your macros. So if you're counting your calories from the sauces as well, and the marinades and the barbecue sauce, if it's if it fits your calories, then so be it. I just um, um, for me, I like to have more volume in food. I'm, I, I like to eat a lot. Ask anyone I know, I eat a lot of food. So instead of, instead of going for me, this is how I like to diet. So for me, I could do the like, if, so I do if it fits your macros in a way. I do track everything that I eat. Um, but I don't go around like guessing what I'm going to eat or be like, oh, I feel like having a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. So I go order it and I, you know, go on my fitness pal and I see, you know, where, where, where it adds up in my macros and seeing how much I go, I have left. And, um, for the, you know, in that case, you don't get as much volume. You don't get as much food in your diet because you're eating food that's not necessarily the cooked the healthiest or they have a lot of oils in it and it adds a lot of extra calories. So I'd rather have, you know, like, um, I'd rather have a bunch of like ground beef and a bunch of rice and beans 
or I'd rather have uh, like a, a, something that's going to really fill me up versus having like a little chicken sandwich. You know what I mean? Like a chicken sandwich from Chick Fil A, for example, has as many calories as as a couple a couple cups of rice and and uh, some of my beef. You know what I mean? Like that's the difference. I get so much more volume in my food, and um, it's all about what works for you guys. Like if that works for you, then do it. Whatever you're going to be able to, to stick with and be consistent with, that's what matters for me. You know, I have cravings, but I just I suppress them. I I have my my little cheat meals here and there every now and then, and uh, you know I work for them. You know I work my my butt off to get those cheat meals, and and it makes it more satisfying when I go out and eat and and, and eat that food. But honestly, when I eat healthy like this, and I'm eating like a lot of volume and a lot of good healthy food, high high fiber, high protein, you know, pretty high fat, you know, and uh, and those foods are are coming from really good sources. I feel healthier. I can feel a difference versus eating something out that's fast food. That's that it just doesn't do the best for your body. It's it, like I say, if it works for you, that's fine. But I'm all about doing it the most optimal way possible, and I want to do it the best. When I go work out, I want to I want to go 100%. I want to do the best. I want to do the best I can. You know, if that means you know doing uh, X amount of reps or sets or working out for X amount of hours, you know, I want to do it the best I can, and that's the way I've always been, and that's the way I do it. So, um, as far as my diet, guys, um, so right now I'm at 4,600 calories a day. Now, when I first started this journey, I was at 5,000 calories. Um, a lot of you are like 5,000 calories. Oh my God, it is a lot of calories. But you gotta take into the factor that first off, I know I'm fat. But I do have a lot of muscle from back in the day when I used to bodybuild and, and, and powerlift. I have a lot of muscle from back in the day. And some of it was lost, you know, from not training for years. But um, um, a lot of muscle memory comes into play. And I, I'm starting to gain a lot of that muscle back. I could feel it. I could see it. You know, when I go to the gym, I'm able to push a lot more weight than, the, than last week, than the week before. Like, it's just coming really fast. And all that muscle memory is coming back. Um, I am a big dude. Um, I am heavy. If you look at me, a lot of people that look at me, they don't think I'm 350, you know, or 370, however, how much I weighed back then. I don't look like it, but I, I weigh that much because I've, I have a lot of bone density and I have a lot of muscle. So, um, and when I work out, I don't work out. I don't work out for 45 minutes. I'm do, I don't do that stuff, dude. I go in there and I work for about two hours. I'm hitting 20 plus sets. Zach, back up. Hey, Zach, take care of those dogs, by the way. They need to be let back in. Um, I do 20 plus sets per body part. Um, yesterday when I did back, I did I think 32 sets on back. I can do a lot of sets. I do a lot of volume. I, I lift uh, pretty heavy weights, you know, within the rep range of like, you know, 8 to 12 reps. Um, I, I go all out every time. I do my fasted cardio, you know, so I'm burning a lot of calories, guys. So you got to just, you know, 45, 4,600 calories for me now. So I started at 5,000 calories, okay? I, was, I lost a lot of weight really quick. I lost 10 pounds in like two weeks, okay? Um, or almost 10 pounds in two weeks. And then, the, and then the last, like, what, five weeks, I've only been losing like half a pound a pound, which is fine. But then I kind of plateaued for a couple weeks, which was a few weeks ago, and that's when I lowered the calories. I lowered it to a couple hundred less. Didn't really see much results, so I lowered a couple hundred more. So now I'm at 4,600 calories. You know, and I've been slowly introducing more cardio and, you know, more time and more more intensity. So I'm doing the 25 minutes of cardio five times a week, you know, Monday through Friday. I'm doing the, you know, two hours or so worth of weight training, you know, with a 20 plus sets per body part. And I'm, you know, do, I'm doing that four times a week. And my training is pretty intense. It's pretty hard. Um, and I'm losing weight. It's working. You know what I mean? Now, some people, some people at the gym, like, for example, I go to, I go to crunch a couple times a week. A couple of personal trainers there are like, why, don't, why are you doing so many calories? Why don't you just bring it down to 3,000 calories? Well, I, first off, I don't want to shock my body. And, and I could do bring it to 3,000. I could lose a lot of weight really quick. But I don't want to lose muscle. Okay, I want to lose just fat, and I want to give my 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 skin time to adjust. Because a lot of people they'll lose fat fat really quick, and their skin is elastic. It's stretched, but it didn't stretch overnight. It stretched over X amount of years. X amount of years, it just kept on stretching, stretching, stretching from getting fatter and fatter. So you want to give yourself time for your skin to adjust. Now it doesn't always adjust, or adjusts a little bit, but not always totally. Which you know I understand that, but losing weight slowly and healthily, uh, slowly and healthy. And eating the healthy food that I eat, eating a lot of veggies, eating food like chicken heart, things that are high in protein and collagen, so if that's good for your skin. Like checking mark everything I could check that'll help me 
at the end of the at the end of the day, whether it's for my fitness goal and losing fat, or or my skin, or my my health in general, I'm gonna check every one of those marks. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I take every avenue and make sure I check every box as far as making the end result better for myself. So those are the things I do, um, and um, uh, I just you know like I said, I'm losing it slowly so that way my skin adjusts. Um, I don't want to lose muscle. I want to actually gain muscle back and lose fat, you know, and I, it could be done, especially I think my genetics are pretty good for that. Um, of course, eventually it'll stop doing that and it'll just lose fat, which is fine with me, um, but I want to lose it slowly, like I said. Um, and that's where I'm at right now, guys. I will continue doing what I'm doing now until I plateau, and then from there, I just make a decision. I look at my macros to see what I need to change, uh, how many calories I want to take out, or if I want to change intensity, which from now, I'll probably just change the cardio. Uh, the highest I'm going to go in cardio is probably 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes tops in the morning, because it really, I don't have much time to, to spare at wake from waking at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. and I'm doing 25 minutes cardio, I pretty much am like, go, 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 and I'm like almost getting to work late, like almost. So, um, if anything, I might do like a, a little bit of post-workout cardio, might hit the bag, you know, I might do some circuit stuff afterwards or do something on the treadmill for like 15 minutes. I could do that, you know, do my fasted cardio, do my cardio after my workout. But that's, that's my plan as far as now, just keep losing weight. Um, as far as my macros, like where do my calories fall as far as macros? So I'm looking at the data from MyFitnessPal of everything I eat usually on a daily basis. And it changes from day to day a little bit, you know, maybe I don't have peanut butter. Like I had today, maybe I had milk, so I have milk, and milk has more carbs and sugar, so my carbs might be higher one day, my fat might be higher one day. The protein is usually roughly about the same, but here's my here's my numbers, guys. Protein is 300 and, it says here 380 grams of protein. I don't think that's necessarily all accurate. It is counting protein from like some of the veggies, some of the carbs I eat, and there's obviously a lot of protein in beans. Now, one thing you guys notice, why don't I only have rice? I have rice and beans. For one, beans are soup, it's a superfood. It's really high in fiber. And then combining a, uh, a grain with a, with a bean or a legume, um, the different amino acid profiles that each of those uh, types of food have, when you combine those two, you know, because those foods don't have complete protein. The complete protein comes from like meats or soy or dairy. Those are complete proteins. That's something that your muscles could fully utilize. Grains and legumes, all that stuff, it's not complete protein. Your body cannot fully utilize it. But um, by combining both of those together, the missing amino acid chain that, that each one has is able to complete the link and become a complete protein. So um, some of it, some of it is is complete. I feel like depending on how much of it I eat of the particular carb and and if I eat it at the same time, I think that comes to certain variables as whether it's a complete protein. You know the time dis. You know I try to eat my half rice, half beans at the same time. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Like right now, I'm having just beans. I already had my rice today because the beans were out and it took a while for the beans to cook. Like certain variables like that. But this is my macro. I keep on talking. I talk a lot. <laughs> let's let's go. So 380 grams of protein. Carbs are 420, uh, 423. Uh, my fiber is uh, about 60 grams of fiber. So plenty, plenty of fiber there. Um, my fat is 147 grams of fat. So my carbs, roughly, depending on what I'm eating that day. I usually eat the same thing almost every day, but my carbs will vary from 380 to 420 something like that. My fat goes from about 140 something like like it says here to the highest. My fat has even gone as high as like almost 200. So that was when I was having 5,000 calories. It was a lot of fat, so I reduced that a lot from uh, from from before, and that came from basically just me taking that that uh, substituting one of my beef meals with a uh, gizzard that reduced my fat big time. So anyways guys, that's what my diet's like right now and it's working for me. I feel healthy, I feel strong, I'm losing weight and I'm gonna keep on doing that until I plateau. When I plateau, we'll figure out the next step. But um, anyways guys, if you, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, share, you know, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep on putting content, good content out. And um, as far as um, I'm, I'm, I'm down to do some Q and A's, guys. So if you guys have any questions, shoot me a, a message on Facebook. Comment on my videos when I share it. 
um, and let me know what your questions are and I'll do a QA, and a you know, next video and I'll just throw it in one of my vlogs and kind of answer some of your guys' questions as it comes along. If you have any questions when it comes to diet, working out, building muscle, building strength, I know a pretty good amount. You know, don't, don't, don't judge my knowledge by the way I look now. I know I'm fat, but I was in really good shape a long time ago and it wasn't just me having genetics. It wasn't me just working out hard, but it was about me um, using time to you know, build knowledge on those things, you know, building the knowledge on nutrition and working out and, and to, to better my physique. And uh, I don't know everything, but I know a lot and I'm continuously learning every day. I'm learning more about my body every day just by doing things, trial and error. And uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys' uh, support and watching me and uh, I hope you have a good day. Stay strong, stay on the grind. Peace out.